everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday Whiskey. I'm Dan. And I'm Mike. And this week we are bringing you, yet again, more Penelope. If you they, haven't guessed, we like Penelope. Yeah, they just won Whiskey of the Year 2023, so we figured out why not kick off 2024 with more Penelope. <laughs> but no, seriously, they actually do put out fantastic products. We are not sponsored by them. Nope. We don't get any free stuff we don't get free bottles from them like we just truly just a fan of mike and dan's work yeah not on oh, this mike and dan oh mike, mike and dan yeah from mike penelope. and dan who own penelope yeah their work. they really do put out good product and honestly if they're in a lot of states now if you see them grab them you won't be yeah. disappointed because like what do we have we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is the 12th 12. and 13th we have 13 bottles of penelope and i probably like... have another three or four yeah so we probably we have, have 17 or 18 bottles of penelope of all different stuff they put out over the past like five years or so they gotta be one of the only distilleries that does as many releases as they do too they're, i feel like, like always pumping stuff yeah out. i feel between like the cast strengths always having a different batch out of that then you obviously have your mainstay with the four grain. They just released their nine year, which was their first yep. like straight up bourbon age statement. These are age statements, but these are light whiskey. Yeah. And if anybody doesn't know what light whiskey is, essentially what that is, is you're running your still at a temperature of higher than 160 degrees. So therefore mm -hmm. it doesn't qualify as true bourbon or true whiskey. It falls into this category of light whiskey. And I believe you just have to run the still at a temp lesser than 190. Yeah. Because once you distill corn at a temperature of over 190, then you're kind of skirting into this like vodka territory mm -hmm. that uh, is a little weird. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just the difference here. We've got the original. This is called the Founder Series, by the way. Yep. Uh, it is all Seagram's corn. Wow. So they use Seagram's corn from Indiana for this. So obviously this is 2008 and this was last year. So this would have been like 2009, mm -hmm. 13, whatever. Yeah, probably. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to get into it. We're going to rate it and see what happens. We're going to see if the 13 years better or the 15 years better. Yep. Which one? The 13 years is the one we had first, right? Yeah. And I don't remember how it tastes. Like, obviously, we've drank it. Yeah. But I don't remember how it tasted or anything about it. And we actually rated it before we started writing down the ratings. Yeah. But we can't find that rating, so... If you find it, good luck, because we couldn't find it. Yeah. If you, if you so. stumble across it and are like, you rated it different now, it's because we lost our own rating. And I legitimately do not know what we rated yeah, this. We, so we're gonna just going to go off this now. And so obviously, common sense here, mm -hmm. you would think the 15 year would be better. That's the whole purpose of this. Yes. We're going to see, does age actually make the difference that people say it does? Yeah. So, all right, let's get into it. Cool. So these are all going to be 128.4 uh, proof, a.k.a. 64.2% alcohol. Yeah, so they're so hefty these, boys. These are heavy hitters for sure. And they're very, they're going to be very light in texture just because of the light whiskey nature. Yeah, so it's really, it's kind of weird, honestly. You have such a high proof, but such a light bodied whiskey. This actually smells fantastic. It smells like fucking cinnamon and honey. Ooh, it really does. Smells fantastic. This is really nice. I real really, pepper too. A little pepper. Honestly, though, you hit the nail on the head with cinnamon. And Ooh, honey. I learned something in Epcot. Yeah, uh, doing a tequila sampling. So these, just like tequila glasses, these glasses are designed with three different pieces. Mm -hmm. So when you smell this, you're gonna smell the spirit. The center is gonna be your main flavor, and then the top is gonna be your barrel. Mm. So I'm, we're gonna see if it. Interesting. And then you go, so front here, I'm getting a lot of cinnamon, and then we're going to go center. That's when that honey and caramel kind of kind of takes over. Then we're going to go top. Oh, and then you can smell like a little light oak tone. It, yeah. it does work. That is interesting. All right. Ooh, hold on. This first sip doesn't count. Wow. Because all I get is wood. It's been a, <coughs> a long time since I've had something this strong. Yeah, Mike and I, I gotta get acclimated. Mike and I have actually been dialing back the drinking like off camera. Yeah. So yeah, obviously everything you see us post, everything you see the short reviews, which I'm we're I'm we're gonna get back into all of that. Yeah. We but just we took a, a break between what we do for a living with the holidays. It gets to be a little chaotic, and yeah, it's never bad to just go on a little sabbatical. Yeah, exactly. We <sighs> neither of us, you know, we don't want this to consume our lives for the wrong reasons. Yeah, it hundred percent has not. No. <laughs> but oh wow. That's okay. where the first one got me a little yeah. bit. All right, let's so go the in The first now. one's just a tester, just to like numb up the taste. Yeah. Dip your toe. We just dipped our toes in the water. That's all. Much better. But generally, 
that's actually a good thing to do. Anyone tasting whiskey, have that first sip. You don't even have to swallow. You can even like toss it out, but get your palate acclimated. You don't want to just go right in and shock your, your system like that. Because if you go sit down to like Angel's Envy, that's the first thing they do. They give you like, you know, whatever spirit you're starting with or bourbon you're spart starting with. And you basically coat your entire mouth in it to yeah. numb everything so that you can just taste the pure mm -hmm. flavor coming out of it. Sorry. Itchy nose, itchy nose. Um, so yeah, it's never a bad idea to do that. Um, with that said, you are right with the wood. The wood notes are heavy, and it's I like really it's like It's like herbal and oaky. There's no sweetness. No. So like you smell the cinnamon and the honey and the caramel and a little bit of that pepper on the nose, but virtually no sweetness in the actual palate. Really nice for 128. Uh, I think it kicks, but it's it's oh it's kicking, but it's tastefully done. <laughs> I feel like. I'm a virgin to bourbon all over again. It's kind of fun though, because like I I, I I totally tell everybody like you don't have to do like like sober January, what do they call it? Dry January. Just take a couple weeks off, and then yeah. reset your palate, and it kind of opens you back up to everything. Everything seems new again. Or even not, you don't even have to do a couple of weeks. Just just give it a few days. You know, just yeah, just take a break. Yeah, take a break. Take a break. Um, mm -hmm. all right. So I'm gonna. I'm not going stupid high with this. I think it's very good, but I don't think it's the best thing they've ever made. No, like I don't, I don't think this goes anywhere near like Architects or Rio. Like, or, yeah, Rio. We're not even gonna go with that. With that. But um, <laughs> R.I.P. I'm going seven point seven. I think that's pretty fair. All right, I was actually gonna go a bit higher to like eight two. Seven so, nine. Yes. Seven exactly nine. What I was thinking. Seven right. nine. Seven point nine for the thirteen year. Which was last year's release. Yeah. So, oh, on to... Lord. Wow. Just edit this out. Oh, no, we're good. We don't have to edit this out at all. No, I'm not worried about looking like a Nancy on camera. It's, a Nancy. It's true. I haven't had anything this intense in a long time. What the ah! hell is going on on my phone? I don't know, but I can feel the vibrating. I'm not even sitting oh in your seat. God. All oh, right, man. so we have the 15 year. This year's release came out like a month and a half ago. Um, same proof, same build, same everything. It's going to be Seagram's corn from Indiana. It's yep. 2008 corn. So really, it's just the aging. That's it's us, just right? it's just an extra two years in the barrel. That's all we got. And that this is the perfect way to show. Now this could actually help round out some of that. Heat. Some of the yeah, some of the um, aggressiveness of the palate for sure. So we'll see. All right, and she has. Let's do this. And these go, just so you know, I we didn't I should we, I don't know why we did this. So these go for about $115 a bottle yeah. retail in the state of New Jersey. Both of them sold for that, I think. Actually, this was $98.99. This one for $114.99. Interesting. The nose is similar. Again. Very similar nose. Very similar. I'm not even gonna go into that. Cinnamon and pepper. It's almost the same. A little bit of that kind of rich honey note in the yeah. middle. And then, like the wood notes are very light. Obviously, it's light whiskey. You're not gonna have heavy barrel tone, even though it spent 15 years in a barrel. I think I don't, this is not probably this isn't like a textbook way of saying this. I think just the nature of the whiskey doesn't create a like a dense palate or like a rich oak tones. No. Like I don't get that. I get very very light. It like is. this is like the bossel wood. That's um, a good way. Yeah, it it's really not. It's a little musty heavy. though too. Like the 15 year has a little musty note on it. Oh, wow, the two years made a big difference. This is a neck pour, too. I'm getting a slightly more medicinal flavor. Yeah, I get medicinal, but I also get peppercorn in this one. Just for some A little bit of pepper. The wood flavor isn't it's as intense. prominent. It's not as intense as this, though. It's not as it's not as good, either. I don't like the wood flavor as much on this I think one this one had more one. character to it. I think it's maybe because it was younger, but... Yeah, this one... Like this said, one's I a would... little. I I do like this one. I think it's a little cleaner and a little more balanced. This one's way more yeah up and down. But I think this one has a little more character to it in the sense that like that wood note, that grain note, it literally just tastes like you poured it out of a freaking tree trunk. I can't help but get this awkward medicinal flavor though. I'm not getting that really, but I mean, take another sip and I, again, like I'm not gonna try and taste it, but I'm just gonna try yeah. and see if I can like. I don't it, it, Every again, everyone's palates are different. So, you know, don't take any, take everything we have to say with a grain of salt. You may try things that we hate and love them 
You may try oh, things we hate. It's great and love. It's them. like this weird. Medicinal yeah, that's grape what note. it's like a medicinal grape. Note, I'm not right? saying I'm not saying that because like Mike put it in my head because he didn't say grape. He I did say, not say grape. I just didn't said medicinal. say grape or diamond tap. It tastes like diamond tap a little bit. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. But like I said, I'm not, I mean, we're not knocking the whiskey. It actually is very good. It's extremely good. I just think the 13 year was better. Yeah. No, I'm really glad you pinpointed the grape because that's what yeah. I was getting at. But I didn't want to say it because I didn't yeah. want to completely. Yeah. So this one, it. I would go like 7.1. I'm going to meet you at 7. Yeah, I think 7-1. Seven, seven, so the 13-year, we actually like better. I like the 13-year. Than the 15-year. Amazing release. Really solid product. Um, just, I think these light whiskeys. Do they, they say, did they put any grape must in this? No, or? no, no. I, I think it's just, a, it's in the nature of the light whiskey. That, uh, that process. I guess so. Because you can tell the color is slightly darker. Like, you can even see it here. Like, this is almost like an amber where this is. So, hold on. This one says... Brings out savory vanilla with hints of cinnamon and creme brulee. I don't get... No, I don't get that either. I think the cinnamon, for sure, brings out vanilla notes with hints of cinnamon. This one, I get the... Va this one tastes a lot more vanilla creme brulee yeah. than this one. Great. Mix. I wish... <laughs> the thing with this, I wish that that oak tone in this mm -hmm. carried... Because if that oak tone was in here, it would have like kind of balanced out that odd... That odd sweetness. Medicinal... Like, yeah. Grapey, whatever the hell is going All on. All right, there. so thirteen year wins. I, I actually kind of thought this would happen. I've heard through the grapevine, and no when I say intended. that, I no mean like you know, like Reddit <laughs> bourbons, Facebook. Like I, I've heard the thirteen year is more sought after. Yeah, that and like I, like I said, I just think again, everyone has their own opinion. Everyone's palate's gonna taste something different. But for Mike and I, yeah. I think this one. He and I like, I feel like you and me both like more complex stuff. We do. We like complexity. We like a little bit of sweetness. We like those, those bourbon candies. And this is and Hence weird. the Penelope and Rio And the weird so stuff. High. And this was so odd in the sense of like the wood, it literally like if you could like somehow pour like corn spirit out mm -hmm. of a tree trunk, that's what this tastes like. So 13 year, better than the 15 year. That's your takeaway from this episode. Yep. Uh, so if you made it this far, we appreciate you for sitting down and watching the episode. That really means a lot to us. Mike and I put a lot of work into this. Mm -hmm. Um, we get together when we can to film this stuff and when we do it, it, it does mean a lot and it is a lot of fun for us. Uh, so please do all three of the next things I'm about the list. Please, number one, like the video as soon as you turn this thing on. Like it. Yeah, just do it. Number two, subscribe to our channel. That really goes a long way. And a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been doing that. Our subscribers have been going up slowly, but steadily. Uh, and number three, please comment any feedback you have. If I said something wrong about the light whiskey distillation process, which I probably did say something wrong, please correct me, but mm -hmm. be nice about it. You don't need to be a cocksucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but otherwise, drink responsibly. Have a great week. Uh, and bye. Cheers.